Okay, next thing we're going to look at is creating your buyer's guide from eEdge. And this is um, actually a really cool thing that they have integrated right within the system. And then actually from there, I want to show you a trick to help you guys prevent from every time you do it to be able to go back in and have to do the data again. So when, um, from your MyKW, you're going to go to Market, Market Me, which will bring you to your dashboard. And then you're going to click on the left-hand side it is right now, but it's going to be on the top here at some point. So Create Marketing is what we're going to click on. So you click on Create Marketing. You now, um, what I want to show you real quick is the end result of this, and that's where I'm going to go to my portfolio. So if I click on my portfolio, this is where I can find all of my projects. What I have done is slowly loading here. Give me one second. If I go to my projects, my buyer's guide. I've got my buyer's prez created, and I've gone in and I've entered all the data that I want to. That way, every time, because it's going to ask for client information as well. Now, let's say I have a new one that I have to go and present tomorrow. All I do is I say duplicate. Let's make a duplicate of that file. And this one, I'm going to go in and change some of the minor stuff, just the client's name. I don't have to go in there and edit any of my information again. So now I've got a copy of that, and I can actually edit that as well. Um, edit the entire, what I'm going to do now is go into edit the project, and then I will be able to um, go in and edit the name on that file. So that is all I have to do. So let's go through actually getting it set up from the beginning. So, I'll just jump back here. If I go to Design Center, if you guys would have clicked on Create Marketing, it's right on the home page. Your buyer and listing presentation and pre listing presentation. So, you just click on Presentation, and that'll bring you to Market to My Business. And I'm going to click on Buyer, and I want my buyer consultation. So, then there's the, the guide. All I do is I select it. And I am going to call it my personal buyer guide. So this is your initial time you're going to be doing this. The rest of this you're just going to be making duplicates of it because you don't want to have to go through all these steps every single time. So you create that, and I've got a folder already called buyer's guide. If you don't, just click new folder and call yours buyer's guide. Just type that in. I'm just going to use that. And then hit next. And there's 25 steps to this buyer's guide. That's why I'm making sure that you guys can do it one time and then you can just go in there and edit it each time. All of your contact information should be right as long as you've set up your profile right. And if you haven't, just go back to the program that shows you how to set that up. And you can change it if you want to at this point. And then click next. So you can see what page we're on each time. One and then two, your photo should automatically come. If it does not automatically come uh, on the program, going back to setting up your. Um, under set up my marketing here you can go to or also set up my marketing on this side too here so it's double it's in here twice just to make sure that you guys get that done then hit next and then it's going to come in here and it's going to ask for your client's name and this is crucial all you do is you can put this in here one time and I'm going to put in here um, Joe Buyer and then when I go in there to do the edit all I'm going to do is I'm going to change from Joe Buyer to my Jane um, open house or whatever the name is, Jane Client. So I'll just change the name on it and then it'll change it on every single page for me. So then I hit next. And then I'm going to go in here and the date. I'm going to enter in the date and today I'm just going to put in the date of um, 14, which is the date of this. But when you go in and edit it, you'll just change it to the new date. Two. And then you're going to put your client's name here one more time. So Jane Client. And then from and then I'll put in my name, Calvin Morgan. Greeting, I'll leave alone. I'm just going to take off the greeting. Don't have to put that in there. All the data on here is very good, but if you do want to change it, you guys can go in here and change that data. Agent salutation, I could put that in here as well. I'm just going to take that out. And then my name here. So then I hit next. Scroll. I can actually change the pictures on here. So if I have a nice branded to my team logo, I can put that on top of this as well. I can get rid of this photo if I don't like that one that sits in here. Um, I can get rid of the for sale, which sits right in this area right there. But otherwise, I would leave it. Compliments of. I'm going to leave all that. That's all good. It's going to pull my name and put that information in there, so I don't have to worry about that. Click next, and I can change this as again. It's all about you. Um, I can change the content that's on here. I like what it all says, but you do have the ability to change that. Click on next. And then I get the data on this page as well. If I don't like it, I have quickly can change it. 
Okay, at this point, I want to um, just stop going through each step individually because right now I, I have to go through every step all the way to 25 to edit them. And I want the ability to be able to jump from slide to slide and edit it. So now all you're going to do, so we've edited, a, we went in and put a little bit of information in there. So now under Design Center, just go to Portfolio because it's automatically saved this already. We don't have to hit save. It automatically does it. And now that I go to Portfolio, I'm going to go into my projects and then you created the buyer's guide folder and then you also created my personal buyer's guide so that file you just created but now what we're going to do is we're going to click on we're going to finish it but I want the ability to jump from slide to slide instead of going one at a time because I can skip through a lot of these so then I click on edit unless you want to edit one of those you totally can and then it's got the name of the project we're going to leave it the same we're going to hit next and contact information but now you see this now you have the you did not have this before but now you have the ability to jump to any one of those pages and edit the page and one that we're going to jump to I believe it's 21 here um, of course it's not it's going to be 22 I believe uh, okay one second here sorry about that 22 and this is where you can actually go in and um, do the testimonials page of your buyer's guide so you'll go in and you can copy and paste these right from your website or if you have an email or a Word doc or if you type them out, whatever you have to do, but you can put those right in there, testimonials, up to four testimonials for your buyer's guide. So then you just hit, you can hit done now at any time as well instead of just hitting next. And um, once I print it off, if I look at a page, because now we're going to say, now let's say that we're done with this. Because now I can actually download the entire packet and look at it and make sure that everything looks right and if there's a page that I don't like or something just doesn't show up right or I want to add more to something then I just hit download and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the standard print options and it's going to download it as a PDF automatically for you so it'll take just a second and I'll let that happen and then you also have the ability to email it out to your client right from there where I clicked on download you have the ability to host it onto a website if you want to and that creates the little file here, so my personal buyer's guide. It's downloading it right now. And here is all that information. So I've had my client's info, my info. It takes just a second to load here. I want to show you how it looks. All this information pulls up on every single slide. My buyer's guide, all professionally done. And it's got all the information. Then I would just print this off or I can scroll through it here and see if I like every single page. And if there's some data that I don't like on a certain page, then all I have to do is I can go back and edit it and jump right to that page, saving you a ton of time instead of going through every one individually. So it's got it all here, and I like everything, so I'm good to go. So let's go back. Let's, now that we have the foundation set, if you go back to Design Center Portfolio, and let's say you're meeting with a client, now all you have to do is go to My Buyer's Guide under My Projects, then Buyer's Guide. Then you have your personal buyer's guide. That's always going to be your main one. You just click on that, and you say, let's make a duplicate. So you click on duplicate, and then it brings you to the new file. There it is, copy. And now we're just going to edit it. And we're going to call this one Jim Buyer. This one's actually for Jim, who I'm meeting with today. Now I hit next. Everything's good there. I hit next. My picture is good. I hit next. Boom. Name Jim Buyer. Change that. And I can change the date. So now it's the 21st, which is really not, but I can do that just for you. And then client's name Jim Buyer. And everything else basically will remain the same. I don't have to change anything now. No, I just say I could have just hit done there, which I'll just say done. And now I've got my gym. Now, if I go under, um, you can see under my projects, it's already called Jim Buyer. It's made to him. I can email it to him. I can download it, and I'm ready to go. And then every time I start a new one, I just start with my personal one. I do a duplicate, then I edit it, and then I'm all set. And then I just have to go through and change a few things instead of starting from scratch every single time.